Many thanks for joining us on the show today, Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. We are live from Lagos, Nigeria, and you can watch us on Star Times Channel 308 and Channel 528. And of course, you can also catch us online at www.plustvafrica.com. Our social media handles are on Instagram and on Twitter at Plus TV Africa, and our YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Plus TV Africa. I've got Kunle Sholaja right here, the editor in chief, Sports Village Square. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much, and good morning. Good morning. You look very happy. Is it because of the under 23? <laughs> well, we're not. Ah, okay. That's well, the that's the ticket for most people to actually mm. attend the Olympic Games. Mm, very true. And yeah. uh, knowing that the female team is out, we it's hope out. that the yeah. men qualify for this one. Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll be running through the stories breaking in the world of sports, although it's not a marathon, but we'll keep you up to speed with everything happening across the world of sport. Now, let's start off with the under-23 team, the uh, Nigeria Olympic Eagles. We used to call them the Dream Team. Uh, I wonder which of the episodes of the Dream Team they are at the moment because we used to have Dream Team 1, Dream Team 2, Dream Team, team 3, and all that. We wonder which of them they are now. But we are hoping they lost the first game to Cote d'Ivoire, 1-0, and uh, we could blame it on some of the players that were not featured in that encounter because of an injury or one or two uh, reasons why they were not there. But against Zambia, it was always going to be a tough match, but with the inclusion of Taiwa Wuni and the captain of the side, uh, we breezed past the Zambians. We, we actually came from a goal down to win that match. What would be your takeaway from the, from the game? Well, the takeaway is this. Never say never. Mm. Uh, when they lost against uh, Cote d'Ivoire, it was very unfortunate. That's the, that's the first match they will be losing in almost six games of the mm. tournament since uh, their last victory in 2011 when they beat uh, Algeria 4-1. Ever since in the 2015 edition, they won all their matches up to the final, and then starting this one as defending champion, losing was very, I mean, was something that was not really mm. palatable. And the manner in which they also lost, to, if you consider the fact that it was a penalty, it was a questionable penalty kick, and at the same time, even it was also a, uh, a questionable penalty goal because. Yeah. It was, I mean, the, if VAR were to be in operation, maybe that goal may have been disallowed. Disallowed. Now, South Africa defeated Cote d'Ivoire yesterday, and now South Africa are top of the group. What are the chances that Nigeria can beat South Africa? Well, to start with, it's still an open group. No mm. team is out yet. Even the uh, Ivorian, I mean, the Zambians that were be beaten yesterday can still bounce back mm. if they should beat Cote d'Ivoire. They, they will have four points. They have four points. Mm. So, and at the same time, too, if we fail to get a result, I mean, a, I mean, a good result against South Africa, like in the case of a draw, we also end up with four points. Mm. So that means no team is out yet. But the good thing is that all the teams have their destinies in their hands. Exactly. So you don't need to depend on the other results. Mm. So mm. just go win your match and you pick the ticket. That's mm. just what the group has thrown up, mm. and which I think is very good for football. The two matches are going to be played simultaneously. It's not a situation whereby you will say one team sold out to aid the other, or mm. one team decided to edge out the other based on perceived uh, results and all those things. So it's a very open group, and I think it's good for football, it's good for fair play. Mm. Now, good for fair play, but um, the Nigerians might still, some of the Nigerian fans are still not convinced with the performance of the flying, the, the under-23 Eagles. Now, South Africa have four points. Cote d'Ivoire have three points. Um, Zambia, they have um, just a point after their draw against Cote d'Ivoire. And Nigeria, we have three points. We've scored three goals and we have conceded two, two. goals. If Nigeria defeats South Africa, we'll go on six points. If South Africa wins the game, they go on seven points. But Cote d'Ivoire, if Cote d'Ivoire gets to beat Zambia, they have six points. And whatever happens between Nigeria and South Africa, that if Nigeria loses or draws against South Africa, then it will not count. To be a that's risky one. Yeah, that's why I said all the teams have their destinies in their, in their hands. hands. Just go, have a winning mentality, and then you are true. And I think the Nigerian team too should just work towards actually winning that match against South Africa. South Africa. Because if you win that match against South Africa, there are chances that you'll come top of that group. Mm -hmm. And when you come top of that group, you are likely to avoid Egypt which 
uh, will undoubtedly uh, top group A. Mm -hmm. So you will avoid Egypt, and that enhances your chances of picking an Olympic ticket. Tickets. Because once you qualify to the semi final, what separates you and the Olympic ticket is just one match, mm -hmm. just one win. Even if you lose the semi-final, you still have an opportunity mm -hmm. of playing the losers' final. Yeah. And if you win that one, you are true to the Olympics. Olympics. So now, uh, we, they should just go with the mentality of beating South Africa. And if they beat South Africa, they avoid Egypt. And if they avoid Egypt, their chances of getting that Olympic ticket mm. will be higher. All right, I'm talking about the Olympic ticket. We're wishing the under 23 team best, the best of luck in that tournament and hoping that they pick that ticket and represent Nigeria at the Mills event. Talking about the football event in the Olympics, Tokyo 2020 Olympics.